it's Detroit PE here and I just wanted to jump on and make a quick video on using Canva but we're going to use the free version. So I know in one of my videos I was kind of talking about things you can and can't do on Canva and how cool it was but people that are not using the pro version they don't have all those options. So um, I create all of my games using the pro version. All of these I use pro. Yes, I do think it's worthwhile to get pro, but I'm, there's still plenty of things that you can do without it. So if you don't know who I am, this is my YouTube channel. It's Detroit PE. You can go subscribe. Also, I own a website, www.thephysicaleducationteacher.com. Lots of tips and tricks in there for PE teachers, um, but there's also health and wellness stuff. So go take a look at that if you'd like. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm on Canva and I'm on just the free version uh, through my work email. First thing you're going to do, go to create a design. I like presentation. We'll just start there. Make it super easy. So I wanted to create a Find Me Fitness game, just like the one that I created on my pro version that I made a template and I sent out to a bunch of people who were able to use my work and tailor it and make it their own. So we're going to try to do that with just the free version today. So first, I mean, if you wanted to look in the templates, you could. You can find something you like. And it will just set all these, um, all these cool different presentations up on your own presentation. So we're not going to use that. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to make a title page. So let's go to text. And I'm going to add a heading. But now look at these right here. Anything that says free is fair game. You can use it. So we're going to go ahead and use this one here. And we're going to type in find me. And I want to make this a lot smaller. What did I do? Find me fitness. What I did there. Um, but then you're going to move that out to make it fit. And there you go. Uh, now, let's say I want a background. I can head over to the background uh, function uh, button, click on something I like. Mm, let's say I don't like that one. Here we go. Mm, no, I don't like that one either. Uh, this one. Sure. This one looks great. So then I can also change these colors look a little bit more better. You tailor it to your desires. So this will be my title page. And then I'm going to head on over to my how to play page. So again, I'm going to go to text. Let's do, let's just do regular old text. How to play. This guy up here. Find the bitmoji in each Hey, you're going to make it sound a lot better than that, but uh, let's go ahead and change the font, the actual font. Anything with this crown, that means it's a pro version, so you can't get these. But I mean, they do have a lot of options for you. Yes, they have a lot more in the pro version, but I mean, you can still find something that works for you. Let's go ahead and do that. Great. Perfect. I'm, I'm good with it. And then you could go to photos and you can type in colorful. And look at all these that come up. This can also be used as a background. So see, this one has a crown on it. I can't use this guy. But this one, fair game. And then I'm going to right click, replace the background. Perfect. All right. You can play around with the effects. Um, you can curve it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fine. So basically, you do have a lot of options here. Um, okay, so how to play. Now let's get right into it. So very on my Find It Fitness game, it's bitmojis of me and the teachers that I work for. I had them send me all their bitmojis. Um, we're going to actually check and see right now if I can add my own bitmoji to a game without having the pro features. So we're going to go to Uploads. I am going to go to upload media from my device. And then I actually have my Bitmoji right here. But I actually have a bunch of teacher Bitmoji saved. So let's see if I can add my own Bitmoji to my game. 
Looks like I can. So we are good to go. We're in the clear. So this is me, <laughs> my pink pants and my glasses. Um, so now I'm going to write, find Mrs. Licked. And that's what my students call me. Some of them call me that. I just got married. So some of them still call me by my old last name. Um, but we're going to change the font, color, effects. And you can just play around with that as well. So now we have to put a scene into our, our game. What I did on my original um, game, I actually just went to Google and I found busy cartoon scenes. So you can do parks, you can do water, you can do whatever. Um, go to images here and these will all pop up. So let's use this beach scene. And then once you click on it, you're going to have all these other scenes down here and you can just keep going and going. This is how I found all of mine. So let's do, um, let's make it kind of, kind of hard. We'll get this one here. Right click on it, copy the image, put it in my presentation. Right click and there it is. So looks like so far we are good. And now remember, if you want to move things at the same time, you can just highlight them, move them together, can make them smaller, bigger. And you still have all those lines in there that are going to show you um, where the center is. Make sure everything's lined up evenly. You can grab everything at once, find the center. Um, but there you go. So now I want to put my emoji into my scene. I'm going to right click, copy, control V. And now I have another bitmoji. So I'm going to make her a lot smaller. And let's put her on the surfboard here. Kind of make her, kind of put her at an angle. There you go. So now I'm, I'm in the picture and I am surfing. I'm going to leave my background white just because I don't think that looks horrible. Um, but yeah, so this would be, now your students would be finding Mrs. Licked. Then instead of recreating this whole entire scene, let's see if I can do it. Uh, yes, I can. Okay. So I'm going to go up here to this plus sign, duplicate my page. Bam. Now I have two of the same exact pictures. So that makes it super easy to just add a little circle in there so you can circle your bitmoji. Okay, so now I'm going to put, did you find me? And I'm going to go to elements. Now, elements are kind of tricky because you can use some of them, but some of them you need the pro version. So let's just type in circle. Looks like we got a lot that we can work with. Let's see if we can get any animated ones. And you can. So I'm going to grab this guy here. Put him right over my bitmoji. There we go. <laughs> now let's say you want your students to work out. Click on this page. Um, how I did one of my games was, I will just, I'll just do it. So yes, did you find me? And then I always copy and just paste just so I can get the same exact, um, you know, <laughs> size. Yes and no. All righty. Color. Purple. All right. Now let's go to elements. And we're going to go to frames. Frames are super cool because like I was saying in one of my previous videos, when you put a frame into your game, any pictures that you put into that frame, it automatically sizes up exactly how you want them. So let's do this here. This has a little bit of a border. So did you find me? Yes. Actually, I don't like that one. I'm really picky. Let's just do this one. I always use this guy. Um, we're going to line it up with yes. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to line it up with no. Uh, and then I can just grab all of these guys and make sure they are right smack dab center. There we go. Looks good. All right, let's change my background color to maybe a gray. And then now I want to add 
exercises. What are they going to be doing? So you're going to go to more and you're going to go to this app right here. Click on it. Let's see if this works. Eat Fit. These are my favorite. These are my go-tos. You can find anything. One of an, another favorite that I like is uh, fruit dancing. So these are kind of cool too. Um, so let's see. Grab this guy here. And we're going to grab... How about these two guys here? So as you can see, they are not going into my frames. So I'm going to delete them. But I'm going to go to my uploads. And they're in here. They're in my uploads. For some reason, I don't know why it's doing this. Normally, you can just drag and drop them right in. But we're going to do it from our uploads. So there you go. Now, if your students found the Bitmoji, they are doing the watermelon dance for yes and the apple dance for no if they didn't find them. You can make it fancy. We can do lines. Um, let's see if we can do animated. Make it smaller. Turn it. Separate it, and you can add pictures, you can add anything else you'd like to it. Another cool thing that I like to do if you just click R, a rectangle will pop up, and you can make a border for your frames. Right click on it, send this to the back, and then let's I'm gonna center that here so you can see right where the center is. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy, paste it. Over here, center that up. We're going to send that to the back. And I actually want to change the color to have it match my yes. And there you go. Look at how cute that looks. So, this page, you can actually keep it exactly how it is. Um, so, if you go back through your game, you have a Find Me Fitness, a title page. You've got a how to play. You have your first scene, your second scene. And now, what are your students going to do when they either find your Bitmoji or when they don't? So now we're going to actually keep duplicating this one here. We've already built it. It looks great. All we need to do is get rid of these gifts and add different ones to it. So now we're going to make another scene. So actually, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to duplicate this page right here. I don't know why. This is just how I do it. So now instead of finding Mrs. Lick, we are going to find um, Mrs. Willer. <laughs> so we're going to get rid of my guy here. I'm going to go back into my uploads, find this folder, and I am going to add her in right here. Click, bam, she's here. Uh, now for my scene, let's just get rid of this, and you can find me here. Highlight it. Go back to busy cartoon pictures. Let's grab this one here. Copy it. And here's my new scene. So now I'm going to copy her, put her in here. Let's say I want to, I don't actually want to put her whole body in here. I just want her head and I want to cover one of these characters. I'm going to double click on her and then I'm just going to crop her head. I'm going to crop her arms out too. And I actually did this in a few of my games and my kids thought it was the coolest thing ever. So there's just her head. Now let's put her on this guy right here. Make her smaller. And you can fix it up to make it look a little bit better. Like I was telling you on a different video, you can do this transparency here. Um, it kind of helps it blend a little bit better. Not the greatest, but sometimes it works really well, depending on what you're placing your image over. Uh, so there she is. So then now I want to center her here. Great. Here's my scene. I'm going to duplicate this page. And then I'm going to go back into my elements recently used I want to keep the same theme so I'm going to grab this make it smaller bam and then did you find her 
can add some arrows you can make it fancy so there you go scene two is now completed now i don't want to have to recreate this entire page so again i'm going to duplicate it and I'm move it over all right did you find her yes no let's just get rid of this guy and let's get rid of this guy now we're going to add two different exercises so now we want to do maybe uh this one and this one okay and then remember like i said i don't know why it's not letting me just put it right into that frame but we're going to delete them and we're going to go into our uploads videos sometimes they don't pull here so you want to refresh the, the page and there they are so i can just drag and drop right into my my frames if i don't want to drag and drop i can click on it and it puts it into my slideshow and then i just drag and drop it right there all right so and you just repeat the process until you think your game looks perfect you can animate these you still want to set the timers if you're not doing a voiceover you definitely want to set the timers um and that's pretty much it change your title I need fitness free free <laughs> all right and now you want to go ahead oh you know one more thing i forgot audio and this is a big one because i i sent everyone a template with audio in it but when i went back to look at it it said that you had to pay for that audio so i took it out so if some of you got it with my audio in it i took it out so you didn't have to pay for it um but anyways there is free music in here and if you go up to these settings right here you can see do they have vocals do you want songs with vocals do you want instrumental which i always use i don't ever click this option i just i find them that are like that but you definitely want the free one if you're not trying to use the pro version when you apply these filters you get all the free music so you can pick one and you're not going to hear it i don't think on your end um but you can put this right into your show and it's playing you can't hear it and then again volume you can make it a hundred percent but if you are putting vocals over your game i only do mine in between the 60 and the 75 range uh, just because it overpowers it sometimes and that is it so there is your free version of canva you can make amazing games i know this doesn't look that perfect but i'm trying to go fast and get as much detail as possible um, but if i had all the time in the world I would make this look really good. It would look just like all my games on Detroit PE, which I'm not saying these are the best, but they're appealing to my eye. So, you know, that's how I would do mine. Um, your last step is to just go ahead and download it. So you're going to download it as an MP4 video. And there you go. Your video is now going to download exactly how you set it up. It's going to have the animations you want. It's going to have the time that you want. And, and that's it. All your gifs gifs whatever the words are they're gonna work and then i just upload mine right to youtube and go right up here and there they have it and my kids have so many games to pick from so many things to do and it's just it's been the most fun journey i've had as a pe teacher so if you have any questions again leave a comment i know i got a comment from miss daniels shout out to her uh, we've been talking back and forth on twitter uh, she's doing amazing. She's killing it. And I, I specifically wanted to make this video just to show what options you have with the free version because, you know, it's not everything, but it's pretty cool. Oh, look it. There it is. It's done. And you can try it for free if you want, I guess. There you have it. See my video. Oh, you can't see it. Hang on. So you can't, I don't think you can hear the music on your end, but this is what I just downloaded.
All right. Thank you guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.